What's going on guys? Welcome back from the episode of Last Shelter Survival. Alright, so we're gonna get right into what we have first. First things first. Alright, so we have a couple different things that are going on that I'm pretty excited about. Alright, so first we're gonna go over the state and um, immigration has started. Alright, so that's really exciting for people that are on dead states and they want to go start over on a new one without actually having to start over another account, which kind of sucks. Alright, so Brave Survivor state immigration event has... Uh, tested on 1 through 20 states. The commander can choose their favorite state to migrate. The immigrated commander will participate in various activities as members of the new state. Immigration will consume immigration permits. The exact amount will depend on your power level in the state, or the new state. Uh, please note, all buildings, troops, and technology will be kept. After immigration, personal event score will be recalculated. Uh, when immigrating within the same season, Territories, event score, and honor structures levels will be kept. When moving towards a different season, the event statistics will be tallied in advance. All right, so immigration re requirement. Base level equal to higher than 10. No wounded soldier in the Doomsday Laboratory. Doomsday Conquest. Processing plant without production queues. Doomsday Conquest. Not in an alliance. As these... Uh, cross state alliance is fully functional the state immigration event will start the player will immigrate to the other state without quitting the alliance wow all right so there'll be more choices of different states to choose from um, some adjustments will be made according to the effect of the test if you have any comments suggestions please feel free to give us feedback all right so that's pretty cool i know when i got to choose it was state one through ten which was pretty cool um, but if you ever wanted to switch to a different state, it was like, uh, can't do it. One through ten. There's like a thousand more different stages, but you can go through. So now it's one through twenty, which is pretty cool. So let's look at that. So state immigration ends in 433 days. Um, one hour, 28 minutes, three seconds. All right, so now I can go to state 20 if I would like to. Instead of the one through ten, this is what it looked like before. I can't scroll it down that far. Well, yeah, right there. This would look like before for me. Um, but now, I can go all the way, way to 20. But I'm pretty happy on state 2, so I'm going to stick where, I, stick where I'm at. Alright, so now... Oh, I was about to say, we, got, we didn't get anything? Alright, so building power, train, yada, 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 yada. Alright, so that's good right there. So state immigration, guys. Keep that in mind. I don't know what state everybody's going to go to. But we will see once everybody gets there. Let me see. We have... They also have the Alliance Donation Optimization. All right. Since time goes by, there has been some changes in the Alliance Donation. Survivors no longer have to keep donating to the Alliance and focus their time and effort on the new technology. Hmm. For this Alliance Donation, have the following optimizations. Every day, the donation limit is decreased from 120 to 48. But... They earn alliance contribution and alliance points are increased from 200 to 620. Nice. The total number donated uh, donation cap increased to 25 times, and the donation cooldown has changed from 30 minutes to 20 minutes. All right. So open with independent diamond donation function. Uh, the price of the diamond donation is higher with the increase of the alliance technology level. <clears throat> now the total contribution points obtained through donation. <clears throat> excuse me, guys is higher than before donation optimization is a small portion of the game experience in the near future the game experience will be optimized so stay tuned happy hunting all right so that's all fine and dandy guys they're actually doing some good stuff for a change all right so i'm actually pretty happy about that finally now i wish they would give me some different heroes that would be awesome all right so we're getting we're getting the same heroes over and over again but it's all good because we're gonna we're switching them out anyway. Damn, it's just so much the same, man. They might as well give me experience. No more recruitment to take it, but might as well give me some experience. I'll take the XP. But yeah, man, the game is making some leaps and bounds finally. You know, but I'm happy on state too. I don't know what everyone else would pick. But whatever state you guys are going to, or if you guys are sticking with your own uh, state, put those in the comments down below. To tell me where you guys are located, because I will probably more than likely make some appearances on different states, giving some straight-up shout-outs 
and maybe some live events or whatever we can do. Make this a little bit more fun. Alright guys, let's see. Yada yada yada. And I am making some progress since last week. A little bit of progress. Now I had a whole lot of power. I almost 2 million power, man. But I got attacked. Someone attacked my base, man. So what they do in my state is that they purge bases that are not shielded for the three day um, deal. But I think I'm gonna make sure I get in on that so I can get some free resources off some bases. So I'm gonna do that myself. All right, so I'm gonna make sure I get some free stuffs. All right, we're still farmers right now. And I'm trying to figure out if being a trader is gonna be much better than just being a farmer. It's probably not that good, because I was a plunder or a raider one time before, and that kind of sucked with, to me. It wasn't that great. kind of sucked. Just a wee bit. Alright, so I got these other resources going. I need to get my, my electricity back up, because that's what I usually sell, or trade. So I need to make sure I get that going back up again. So I'm going to make sure my base is going to be safe this time. I'm not losing any kind of power. Or anything like that. Alright, so my base is 20. But, I need to get this uh, fighter camp upgrade. So actually 22, we can get the uh, next tier troops. So we're going to go ahead and do some serious farming. Not right now, of course, because it's kill event, basically. So we'll have to wait till after the kill event to really get some farming going on. Now, I wish I would make it to where that you can have like an alliance farm. That way everybody can farm during the kill event. And you can still get some resources instead of pretty much halting the uh, the cavalry there. Gonna get a couple of these up here. Yeah, oh, we need wood and some iron. Damn, that's all right though. We got one right here we can level up. Nice. All right, so there we go. That's all we have for that one. Oh, the bank. Can't forget about the bank, guys. Can't forget about as the bank. Okay, so yep, that's pretty much all we got going on there, guys. Looking for these good old updates and actually look little patches. There's not really updates, there's patches in the game, which is pretty cool, and I'm pretty um, ecstatic about it. Um, yeah, got some people still farming. Actually, the event didn't start yet, so I can still go out and farm right now, which is good. All right, so that's tomorrow. We're gonna have a kill event going on, so that's pretty good. So I'll just keep on farming from there. But either way, guys, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.